time for a bud in his book. It's a thing where I interview people about the books that have changed their lives. I got this idea after drinking a lot. King Buzzo is the legendary founder of the Melvins, one of the greatest metal bands of all time. In some blog, King Buzzo listed things that have inspired him, and he mentioned a book by Thomas Sowell called Economic Facts and Fallacies. In this great book, Sowell debunks beliefs like the rich get richer while the poor get poorer, affordable housing requires government intervention, racism is the reason for black-white differences in income. All of this is pretty hardcore, but it's also right, just like the Melvins. King Buzzo was here recently, and I asked him what this book meant to him. All right, explain to me his appeal to you. Well, I've never read economic books mm -hmm. where you weren't bored in 10 seconds. Right. And he has a way of explaining it that is, is, is informative and funny. Yeah. You know, which I think is really, really cool. If, if it's not funny, no one's going to care. Right. You know? He seemed to, 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 to do it in a way that I, I would read it and I couldn't believe he was getting away with some of the stuff he was, was saying. Mm -hmm. I think I'd read three books before I realized it was a black guy that was, was <laughs> writing this stuff. Because it had never occurred to me to think in, in those terms. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't occur to him to think in those terms mm -hmm. either. So uh, I love that. Yeah. I love that. And then I, then I wanted to know everything about this guy. Yeah. And so I, and, um, I just, you know, did as much research about him as I could, and, and I realized that, you know, he's, he's my ultimate rock star as far as that kind of stuff goes. Well, I, speak, I would like to meet him. I'd be totally terrified. We tried <laughs> to get him to call in, but he, 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 he's not a fan of grunge, apparently. What a, what a surprise. <laughs> no, but you know what? You, you raised a good point. The problem with economics is that for the general population, it's boring. So what happens is, it's, but it's the boring things that kill you. Yeah. It's the boring things in life that are the most harmful, and that's what this book's about, is about basically looking at the fallacies in, in, uh, in economics, in, in, in your social life, uh, race, gender, and how these fallacies are harmful to millions of people, I guess. Yes. He has this thing where he says, okay, that's a great idea, yeah. but then what happens? Mm -hmm. And then what happens? And then what happens? Nothing has doesn't have there's nothing you can do that doesn't have consequences right regardless of what it is whether it's the minimum wage or whatever it is it's mm -hmm. going to have a consequence mm -hmm. so then what happens then what happens then what happens and, and and i love that about him i know he was a started out as a marxist right they all do and yeah, yeah, like you know. really sharp minds like uh I, I free market minds start out from from a, a a very bad place and that's how they learn yeah i think and it, i think i don't know what it is i mean it, it's crazy i mean he said that what changed him from being a Marxist was working for the government. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One job with the government. That's all. And that was it. And he's that, like, this can't work, you know. Has he influenced your music, or is that too much of a stretch? Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. I mean, um, he's influenced my life. Yeah. He's influenced how I've thought about, you know, you know, I'm a firm believer in, in that we we dig our own graves. Right. We should make our own path. Mm -hmm. We we there was a you know he says a great quote that I've used a million times, which there was a time in this country where people would have been upset and offended if you suggested that someone else was going to pay your way. Yeah. And he says they're no longer offended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's just millions of those things that go through my mind mm -hmm. that I think about that, that came from him. You know uh, that I just. I just think he's he's an unbelievably amazing mm -hmm. genius. Do you get uh, a lot of crap? Because you've done Red Eye a couple of times. Do you ever get any guff for doing Fox? I have. I, and, and this is what I say. I say, you know, that's great. I think that, that, that you're right. Yeah. And now whatever hipster show that you think I should be on, you know what the problem is? They're not asking me to be on it. <laughs> exactly. Because I would be on it. Yes. But they don't want me on it. Yeah. And I'm not going to go looking. Yes. You're the reason I was on that show because you are a music fan. Yeah. And I applaud you for that. Yeah. You're a visionary and a genius as well. <laughs> Why, thank you. The second greatest philosopher of all time. <laughs> yes. I, I, I happen to agree. Or I'm not, I'm not sure the order of whether I'm one or two. I'll say you're two. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. Next to Thomas Sowell. Hey. Yeah, I can't get much better than no. that. Such an interesting guy. Kurt Cobain was his roadie. Kurt Cobain tried out for his band, I think, uh, as bass player and didn't quite make it. Uh, you don't get this sort of thing on, uh, you know, other shows. Hey, speaking of books, have you seen this? It's my new book. You can pre-order it now. Ggutfeld.com or Amazon.com. It's called How to Be Right. Basically, it tells you how to explain yourself if you, if you have problems, because I do. All right, we're going to take a break, but first, a word from our sponsor. Tonight's show is sponsored by the Elliott Spritzer. Tired of not being able to enjoy a sparkling alcoholic beverage while gazing upon your favorite disgraced former governor? Well, now you can. 
Get an Elliott Spritzer today.